I think on the surface they're really known for dressing all in black and wearing those round for hats and having these long side curls. I remember driving through Williamsburg shortly before I moved to Berlin with my son in the car and he looked out the window and said, Mom, who are those people that are dressed so funny, so weird? And I said, that's where your mom grew up and that's where you would have grown up too. And he was like, Mom, I'm really glad that you left because I'm so happy I'm normal. I think actually when I left there was first just a feeling of a lot of emptiness because you get rid of so much and then you don't know what you're going to replace it with so in the beginning it's kind of like a void. I think I lived for a long time in an in-between phase where I didn't know who I was or what kind of life I would have. I think the liberation comes later when, when you figure out that you have the resources to create something new. For me personally it means like absolute normalcy, it means being able to make daily decisions without consulting any authority, it means being free to read and write and talk without being censored and it means like being free to live a normal life like everyone else. Well, it's very clear to me that although I grew up technically in American in the United States of America, I grew up in a European community. I grew up in a shtetl, like a recreated ghetto, and I spoke a European language, and we grew up with European values and customs. So for me, it was really clear as soon as I arrived in Europe, this is familiar, this feels like roots, this feels like home. And I don't think it's surprising that I never was able to identify with my Americanness because I was only American on paper. I was not allowed to participate in any American life or have an American identity. The increase of uh, racism and xenophobia, you can see it everywhere. You can see it in the States, you can see it here. Um, I think it is obviously a byproduct of globalization. I mean, globalization has many pluses, many bonuses, but yes, um, it throws people from different cultures together without any kind of plan or strategy. I'm concerned uh, about the future um, for Europe and for America. And I think we need to learn to um, find middle ground between isolationism and globalism. I think there is, has to be a, a path of compromise.